Salutations everyone, welcome to this quick tutorial in which I will show you how to add an iron sight to Medal of Honor Allied Assault which also comes with some slightly polished new weapon textures. This game is uh, very dear to me, I have had plenty of fond memories playing it, especially as a kid. And assuming since you are here, so have you. As you can see, this is how the iron sight looks like. It's very nice. Also, the updated textures for basically all the weapons in the game. This mod truly gives the FPS experience a whole new feeling and perspective. So anyway, let me show you how to do this, okay? Initially, go ahead and uh, download this file. It's called Iron Sight Mode. I think it's around 10 megabytes, therefore it shouldn't take long. Interestingly enough, and as it appears, this file has existed on this website for the past 14 years. Wow. To be precise, it was uh, published on Saturday the 20th of September 2008 at 2 and 43 p.m. Greenwich time. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, I will leave for you this link in the description along with a custom one containing the same file just in case you are watching this video years from now and for some unforeseen reason it was removed, okay? Now go ahead, download. And once, uh, once it's finished, extract the file using either WinRAR or 7-zip, just like this. Following that, you need to copy these two files, just like this, copy, and then locate where the game is installed. You can easily gain access this way, just uh, options on the game icon and then open file location. Okay, main is the folder in which you need to paste those files, so go ahead, do it. And uh, congratulations, we have finished. It's very easy. But before I take you back to the game, I would like you to know that this mode was created or designed for Medal of Honor Allied Assault, not the expansions. I mean, this works 100% for the main game. However, if you apply it to Spearhead or Breakthrough, then in this case, you will encounter issues. The most consistent one is that sometimes the weapons even disappear. So I don't recommend that you do this. Use it only for the main game. Okay? Cool. Now let's head back to the game. Welcome to the ancient Medina, or as we call it in Arabic, the Medina al qadima or the Medina al atiqa We are in Algeria now. Uh, except I'm not from Algeria, I'm actually from Morocco. But we basically have the same culture, including uh, language. The only difference is the accent, or arguably the dialect. Uh, music, gastronomy, and of course the same old architecture from the era of Sultan al Mariniya, which is the Marinid dynasty in English. So this kind of feels like home. Uh, the more reason we are here actually is that this place or this neighborhood has more lighting compared to the cathedral. That's why the weapons look a bit clearer. So anyway, I believe I have got four weapons to test out and it should give us a comprehensive idea on how aiming down the sight looks like for the rest. The first weapon is this uh, handgun, the Colt. You can also use it to aim down the sight. It's very nice. Uh, the rifle, 
I believe it's called the M1 Garand. Two submachine guns I have here. Uh, this is the Thompson, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, of course, the most dependable, the MP40. I'm not sure if I should say the most dependable, but this is the most used weapon in this game. The grenade is also considered a weapon, but you can't aim down the sights and then throw it. It's not optional here. What's up, Jack? Shooting the spotlights will get their attention. It's best to just avoid them. Anyway, uh, I think this is it. We have reached the end of this tutorial. If you guys have any question whatsoever, please feel free to ask me in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Happy gaming everyone and take care.